That's a nice day right there. 75. Tomorrow it says 78 to 84. Partly sunny, breezy. Southwest 10 to 20. South today 6 to 12. I don't think the tide is uh, too favorable. I mean it's favorable but it's late in the afternoon. Let's see if I can get this thing to move. Come on you piece of Jump you move up and down like you're supposed to. There's what we're looking for. Well, we were yesterday. The tide is low at 10 p.m. And the land of Nada, it's low at 8:50. And it's uh, 7.51 now, so I can't go in the morning. Chris has got a virtual doctor's appointment between 9.30 and 11.30. i got to stay home and use the camera so the skin doctor can do a virtual scan of her body. They can't go to the doctor's office. They want you to do it over the phone, which is crazy. But anyway, that's what, we, that's what we're faced with. Okay. We might have to take a break today. We'll see how it goes. We know the beach is wide down there, so it don't make any difference right now about the tide, as far as being too low. Oh, so we'll probably get in a spin this afternoon, I think. 900 feet onto East 21st Street. Let's go. We're not eating first. We got to. We, we close to where we got to go yet. 21st Street. This is a drive-in I used to go to when I was in high school. Been here for cool 70, 80 years. We'll have to come back. Called Dumars. If I can get a spot. <laughs> we'll have to come back. I just picked up a flock of knives. I see a spot right over there. Stand by. They got 1960 prices. I'll show you when we get the bill. We got a barbecue, two orders of french fries, and two, I call them hot dogs. They don't call them hot dogs, they're something else. It's like a tailor roll or something. Square. Square hot dog. They cut them in half, split them. Dumars. You can't see the sign very well from where I'm parked. But it's been here a long time. The originator of the ice cream cone. Yeah, he's, he's the first guy who ever made an ice cream cone. He had a little machine with a gas thing and made ice cream cones. Then the food comes in a tray, so it's in the window. All the uh, restaurants that have outside, well, all the restaurants are going to be able to serve food starting tomorrow. But it's only if you have outside seating. So they're putting up tents and they're doing, the ones that don't have it are putting up tents and tables outside and <laughs> feeding where they've never fed people before. The ones that don't have outside dining. Some on the side of the streets and everywhere. But tomorrow is the day back to somewhat normal. I'll send you a, if I can copy it, one of my YouTube fellows, I can't remember his name, he's from Chil no, Venezuela maybe? He, was going to, he sent me a thing what it's like down there. I'll try to add it to the video. A foreign country's perspective. Alright, there it is. Bring it right to your car. It sits on the window. I got a thin shake. Chris got a thick shake. Chocolate. Well, me and my leader are on our way home. We've been picking up knives. And, hey, we also had lunch and now we're headed home with the last lot of knives. We picked up a whole block of Woodstock, I mean, uh, Henkel Internationals. And 
Then another pickup was uh, one Hinkle International and six or seven oddballs. And we're leaving the uh, ocean front now with 19. They look like either Hengels or Wolstoffs. I can't tell. I haven't really looked at them. I just picked them up. And one pizza cutter. 19. Good gracious. I'm getting ready to call board. I guess we go for a spin down here by where we were yesterday. Not the same spot, but somewhere over on this part of the bay. Stand by. Well, I'm almost home. I got a text from my guy. I said, hey, hey, come out here. I got something for you. Glory. Got glory, I say. 19, 18 knives and a pizza cutter. I got the rest of the knives in the house. I'll have a better picture later. That is the glory I was talking about. A dozen fresh soft shell crabs. Mmm. This is a boy crab. This is a girl crab. Girl crab has red claws. Boy crab has blue claws. Soft. All right, there's the ones from today. I mean, the last ones I picked up. Not 18 knives and one pizza cutter. All nice Wolstoffs. Six steak knives and kitchen knives. Boyd's on his way, be in about 10 minutes. Gotta get ready. Well, we're out of luck today. No spot. That car just got here, too. Mm -hmm. If I'd been five minutes earlier, we might have made it. Now we got to go down the street a ways. Mm -hmm. Well, we had to move west a short ways. Uh -huh. And we're going in now. Thimble Beach. This is where we call it. Thimble Beach. We will work that way right there. This has all been replenished right here. That's why I like to go down to the other spot. That's never been replenished. Time's not till uh, like four hours from now. But we got plenty of candy out here today. Might be in the glycerin pill times four or five today. Yes, sir. -y. I suspect it is. There's one out there bathing. Looks a little deep for my liking. But it's warm today. I got on short sleeve shirt. Like high 70. Not too bad of waves. We're gonna work right down this edge right here. Boys up there a little higher. Pretty solid one. I ain't never been fond of ones, I think I told you. We got it though. Piece of crap for sure. One. That's a nice ticket. Boy says he's going to leave in the morning. He was going to stay another day, but even with the COVID-19 thing, they're going to raise the rates on the weekend. So he's going to cut out in the morning and go back to uh, Charlotte. Choppy 17. I see nothing. Whatever it was fell through right there. So much for that.
Kind of a choppy 10. Between 10 and 11, but choppy. Could be a nice cap. I don't see anything that looks like a 10. See anything? It looks like a signal. So it may be that. No, that's not it. So much for that. Well, here's a nut. I did find a fishing lure and another sunglass arm, frame, or earpiece, or whatever you call that piece, before we had to go. And you saw the piece of aluminum. So that was three fine tickets I may have found today. See you tomorrow. Well, all the crabs are clean. Put six in the freezer. That's junk, crab guts, eyes, dead man. Etc. Etc. I'll show you what we're going to do with that in a minute. We have a purpose. I say we. Her has a purpose for that. We're going to put these in a pan in a few minutes. Our next door neighbor, the fellow who remodeled our kitchen, has a fox. There's a lot of foxes around here, but he has one that lives right there by his front door, and he thinks he's got mange. He looks, he looks terrible. So, they bought him a fox trap. <laughs> or a raccoon trap. Or a possum trap. I got a feeling it's going to be a neighborhood cat or a possum or raccoon trap. And maybe the fox too. They're going to use some crab scraps for bait. See if they can catch the fox. And take him to the humane place and get him treated. And then release him. Those dunes over there are full of foxes. That place where we hunted, where I found the uh, first gold ring about a month ago at East Beach, you know, those dunes are loaded with them. If you go further that way, towards uh, the ocean front, they even have coyotes down there. Jeremiah Jones. We had to cut our hunt short. Uh, Boyd's leg gave out on him. He's been dry sanding some during the day and his leg used to bother him a lot. And I guess he, he was too active and he had to quit, quit the day. We only got in about 10 minutes, 15 minutes maybe. Here's the knives. I think I, I'm not sure if I showed you all these yet or not. I picked these up and then I picked these up. This is the block of internationals. Came out of that block right there. And then I got the 19 from the guy at the ocean. 18 knives and a Pizza cutter. I sharpened these today. I have to still sharpen these and these. I'll be knifed up in the morning. Uh oh. That's a sound. A call. What's on your mind? Hmm? You ready to catch them? <laughs> now I'm ready. Let's get your ass out of here. <laughs> Big old Jack. I was outside playing ball. Pan sauteed. Saw crabs. Outstanding. I didn't forget. Truly. All right. Well, enjoy.